1958, Michael's trusted and loyal underboss, Peter Clemenza, had died from a supposed heart attack, so Michael needed to find a replacement, and fast. But instead of naming one of his capable capos as his new underboss, he named Fredo as the new underboss, a move that many would question within the Corleone family. Now, the top three positions in the organization were occupied by those the Don could absolutely trust, those who were literally part of the Corleone family. But putting Fredo in this powerful position only works because he did the following. He gave the status and power to Fredo, but the day-to-day -day operations were passed down to Frankie Five Angels, one of Clemenza's top men, and was often regarded as the real underboss of the family. The reason behind this move is quite interesting. You see, Michael had learned from experience that betrayal from those high in the family's hierarchy leads to disaster, and so even though he was lucky that his former underboss didn't betray him, there's no guarantee that his other men won't. Anyone was liable to do the same thing. After all, it wasn't personal, it was just business. But there was a problem. 